Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed over to India for the Gugra Sandwich, uh, specifically the double cheese Gujarati style. Now, uh, this is an Indian street food. It's not something that's typically made at home. We've got to do some stuff. It's going to look like a lot of work, but again, keep in mind, you just typically roll up on the street vendor and say, give me a sandwich, and there you go, it's done. But we don't have that here. I got to make it all myself. I got to make a green chutney, and then I've got to make a filling that goes along with the cheese. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, to start off the green chutney, we put in some cilantro, mint, garlic, ginger, green chilies, cumin, chaat masala, Indian spice blend, roasted gram dal, sugar, salt, and lastly, half a cup of water. Almost forgot, pinch of asafoetida. Now we waz it up. Now we pour that into a bowl, then stir in some lemon juice. And there's our green chutney. All right, to make the non-cheese portion of our sandwich, we've got uh, green bell pepper, uh, onion, ginger, diced green chilies, cilantro, red chili flakes, cumin, salt, pepper, and chaat masala, which is a seasoning blend that has dry mango, salt, black salt, cumin, coriander, mint leaves, dried chili, ginger, bishop seeds, whatever that over there, caraway, karachi, nutmeg, black pepper, clove, and asafoetida. Let me just uh, basically give this all a mixy mix. Okay, now we butter our bread. And yes, I bought this bread at the Indian grocery store, so hopefully it is correct or close to it. Now we put on some of our uh, green chutney. And now we put on cheese, and I think it's supposed to be a mole cheese, which is a processed cheese, but I couldn't find that at the Indian grocery store near me, so I'm using Monterey Jack, which is a nice neutral melting cheese. Now we butter a third slice of bread, a little green chutney. Well, I kind of screwed that up, put it in the wrong order. Hang on a sec. Now we put on our green pepper and onion mixture. Now we put our cheese on. There you go. Now we put one on top of the other and put our third slice on top of that. And we butter the outside. Now in India, they have these sandwich presses that you hold over the fire. I don't have exactly what they have, but I do have this thing that was sent to me by the good folks at Toastite. And I've been waiting to use it, and now I'm going to. Now, the ones in India are square. Uh, this is obviously round, but it'll be kind of the same thing, hopefully. And put it in, butter it up. Now we're to uh, trim off the outsides. Now we uh, cook it over a flame, flipping it over and over again until it's done. Okay, let's give this Gugra sandwich uh, double cheese Gugarati style a go. That is so delicious. In between the mint, cilantro chutney, the green chutney, filling with the green peppers and the onions. Oh, this is delicious. Probably could have done a better job of toasting. And I do think that I overstuffed the toast tight. I don't think it was intended for a double decker sandwich, but still did pretty good. Yeah, I'm not gonna plus that up. I think that is delicious as is. You could add tamarind chutney or some other flavors to it, but honestly, it's just a great combination of flavors between the onion and the chilies and the ginger um, and all the seasonings in it. And then with the melty cheese, it's just, it's a fantastic sandwich. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half as a vegetarian sandwich. That is tasty. Um, I definitely would make this again, although if I do it again with the totesite, I'd probably just do like a, a single decker as opposed to a double decker, but yeah, definitely finishing that, definitely making it again. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.